Welcome to Album Review Series. This is Kian from the Reaper Rocker Vlog. On this episode, we will feature Bandmade once again on their latest album, Conqueror. And I will share all my thoughts as well my impressions in this album. And before watching this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell as always. So you could able to receive all my other video vlogs in this channel. And don't forget to follow my social media accounts. Conqueror is the sixth studio album by Bandmade. It was released digitally on December 4, 2019, with physical formats released one week later. It debuted at number 9 on the Oricon album chart, but debuted at number 1 on the Oricon Weekly Rock album ranking. The album was preceded by the singles Glory and Bubble both released in January 2019. During the recording of the album, Bandmade was contacted by producer Tony Visconti, who had learned about the band from songwriter Tom Kenny. Visconti invited band members Saiki Atsumi and Nico Kobato to travel to a studio in New York City where he produced the vocal tracks for the song Dragon Cries. On this album review, we will have a different format. So from discussing my top faves, the honorable mentions, as well as my least faves, so we will go ahead and just discuss my top faves in the album and discuss each impressions for every track. So let's start. My top favorites in this album are Great Cardation, Blooming, The Dragon Cries, and Glory. Great Cardation is my most favorite track in the album. This song has a complete good features uh, to offer. From the uplifting intro to the heavy and headbanging melodies, and as well as Anthemic and sing-along chorus. It's very nice to listen and good to hear. The guitar riffs and the chugging of the drums makes your ears satisfied. And you will hear Misa's bass. It is very alive and the melodies are balanced. And every instrument, you will able to hear it. In terms with the music video, Ray Carnation is uh, one of a kind since it features like they have like a damaged film or like an old film um, and you won't able to see the band members but I like the aesthetics of this uh, music video. On Blooming, the intro of the song is really great and you will surely headbang the track when you hear it. I love the attack of the guitars on each verses. Yung biglang hihinto tapos babagsak. Ang sarap sobra sa tenga. You would experience an ergasm, especially on the second verse. When they are doing that, alongside, they would do like a guitar solos. It's really great. Then, accompanied by Akane's uh, drums, it's make the song really perfect. Psyche did uh, her singing very well. In fact, her voice balanced the heaviness of this song. On Dragon Price, the melody reminds me of General Luna's Red Heaven. And in fact, when I uh, first time hear it, I was really surprised since my first impression is that I thought the General Luna's singing, but I'm totally wrong. And they have uh, the same melody. And if you want to find out uh, General Luna's uh, Red Heaven, 
you could check out later on the links on the description and check out their song. General Luna is also great. Then, going back with the song, this song has a purely English lyrics that can be easily understand. And the song emphasizes more on hard rock sound. And aside from General Luna, when you listen this, the melody is kind of reminds of like an ACDC sound on a female version. Glory! On this song, one thing that I think immediately is Yu-Gi-Oh! Eh, since this song was Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns fourth ending, when Yu-Gi-Oh! announced that the song will be used, I was really excited since Yu-Gi-Oh! theme songs has a good tracks to offer and it blew out my mind when uh, that band-made song will be included in their anime. And musically speaking, this song has a hard rock vibe especially on the intro. The guitars as well and the drums, it's really good and the vocals did also a decent job. Now let's discuss the other tracks. So on the songs Wonderland, Page, Mirage, At the Drop of a Hat, Catharsis, and Endless Story, this track has a popish vibe. And I could say also that these are easy listening tracks that you will love to listen. And in terms of musicality, I praise Psyche's singing style since she presented it very well and even it's in Japanese, you will love to sing with her. On the songs on the, at the drop of a hat, I could say it has a more emotional melody and even if I don't understand it, you will love to listen and you will feel the emotions through Psyche's voice. In terms with Wonderland, this uh, track is a good background music if you're in the happy mood since it has as an uplifting beat that you will love to listen and it's kind of like reminds me of moratorium on their fourth album just bring it and the story i could say this uh, track is great when i uh, heard it first time when they promoting the album i was got curious what the song is all about and I praise uh, Psyche's as well as Miku's uh, blending their voices. It's really nice to listen and you will love to sing along with them. And it's kind of like a last song syndrome when you uh, try to listen this since it has a remarkable um, chorus as well as the melodies. On the songs Liberal, Dilemma, and Azure, this tracks has uplifting beat and you will love to uh, listen it uh, again and again when you uh, listen this you will really feel energized and you will uh, turn your bad mood into a good mood i love the presentation of guitars of kanami and Miku. they uh, present it very well it emphasizes also the hard rock vibe so it's really good to listen and I love their rip so much that uh, you will able to like to have an orgasm when you uh, listen to it. On the songs Bubble and Flying High, this track has a heavy influence with hard rock. And the rips of the guitars as well accompanied with the drums, you won't hesitate to headbang when you listen to it. And Every time I play it, I would um, stop head banging since it's really good to listen. And with these uh, tracks, it's kind of reminds me also like an ACDC vibe in these two tracks. It's time for the verdict. And what could I say for Van Meets Conqueror? I could rate this album as 5 out of 5. All of the tracks is satisfying and worth to listen. And you won't hesitate to listen it over and over again. I could say that 
band they developed their skills and talents since from the first album and you would uh, see that they're also uh, keep maturing as well developing or their musical direction on which they want to be and in fact you would see nowadays that they performing now overseas which is really good this album emphasized as a hard rock album from its guitar riffs and vibe though it has a minimal pop rock influence if you're a first timer to listen this album you would say that this album has a likeness of ACDC in a uh, female fashion band-aid nailed it once again they keep continuing serving good music and they keep improving more and more each one of them played their part and they contribute to deliver a good music and they now conquered overseas and no doubt soon enough they will become our rock legends and I'm giving a salute to them hands down on them. Okay, so we're already done the album review in this episode. And let me know your thoughts for Bandmates Conqueror. Just comment down below and if you agree with my album review, then don't hesitate to send a thumbs on my channel. And if you have a request for an album review, then you could also comment down below and I could be able to uh, read that and consider your request in the future. Okay, so we're already done and thank you for all of your support. I do greatly appreciate it and hoping for the best for the new videos to come. Okay, This is Ian from the Reaper Rocker Vlog. We'll see you in the mosh pits. Stay safe. Let's beat up COVID-19. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Listen to music. Rock on, Filipinas.